Well, in the next few minutes, we're going to discuss the enormous waste in shielding gas that occurs in MIG welding. In a published article, the author states the average MIG welder uses from three to five times the amount of MIG shielding gas they should. The gas surge at the weld start is mentioned as a major cause. When welding, the pressure in the gas delivery hose varies from 3 to 7 psi. When welding stops, the pressure increases to the regulator pressure, which could be up to 80 psi. This stores up to seven times the amount of gas as the physical hose volume. The stored gas blasts out of the MIG gun nozzle when welding starts. We developed and patented a solution. Using a smaller volume hose with the surge limiting flow orifice decreases the stored gas by about 80%. It's called the gas saver system and simply replaces the existing gas delivery hose from cylinder to welder. The gas saver system can reduce gas use by 50% or more. It's inexpensive and it'll pay for itself in a short time. An orifice is employed to limit peak flow rate at the weld start to avoid excess turbulence which pulls in air into the gas stream causing excess spatter. You'll have at least twice the time to tell when a cylinder is running low so you don't run out in the weekend. The hose is fiber reinforced and has a very heavy wall. It can be stepped on and it won't stop gas flow. Some users employ 25 feet or longer systems. For more information about how the gas saver system can reduce your cost and improve your weld star quality, visit us at www.netwelding.com. Thank you.